Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into some spicy revelations about one of hip hop's most talked about feuds. That's right, Future has finally spoken out about the high profile tensions between Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and even J. Cole. And let's just say, he had a lot to get off his chest. Oh, and Metro Boomin also shared his side of the story, including some regrets about his public fallout with Drake. Stick around because we're breaking it all down in just three minutes. Let's kick it off with the Future's recent interview in GQ. When asked about the feud, he initially played it cool, joking. There was a beef? I didn't even know there was a beef. But according to the writer, Future delivered that line with an impish smirk, hinting he might have been throwing some subtle shade. But then, Future got real. He admitted he was still confused about the fallout from Kendrick Lamar's now infamous line on, like that, mother fuck the big three nigga, it's just big me. This sparked lyrical responses from both Drake and J. Cole. And here's the kicker. Future believes he had more reason to be upset than anyone else. He said, why is everybody mad when he was talking about me on my song? Imagine feeling like the forgotten player in a game you're hosting. Now, let's talk about Metro Boomin, who also spilled some tea in the same interview. Metro opened up about his personal falling out with Drake, clarifying that it wasn't about a woman. No love triangles here. Instead, it was a private issue that left Metro feeling deeply hurt and disappointed. He even addressed his fiery social media tirade against Drake, where he accused the rapper of spreading lies and even trying to block radio play for like that. Looking back, Metro admitted he regretted those posts, saying, I should have been stronger than that. That was out of character for me. His transparency is refreshing, but it also underscores just how intense this feud has been behind the scenes. And let's clear up one big misconception. No, Future and Metro Boomin didn't mastermind a two album campaign to diss Drake. Metro shut down the idea, calling it ridiculous. You really think we spent two years blowing budgets on albums just to go after one guy? He said, honestly, it's a wild theory. And Metro made it clear they're not about that kind of energy. Still, tracks like We Don't Trust You and We Still Don't Trust You that feature plenty of shots at Drake. So while Metro and Future may deny an organized campaign, the tension clearly spilled into their music. So what do you think? Are Future and Metro really as unbothered as they claim? Or is there more to this feud than they're letting on? Either way, this saga is proof that even the biggest names in hip hop deal with drama, just like the rest of us. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates from the world of music and entertainment. This is the Red Carpet Reup, and we'll see you in the next one.